I'm JB Lucian, and welcome back to the continuing adventures of Stealthy Elven Rigger in Shadow of Dragonfall. Glory has finally gotten some bit of redemption. Harrow is still alive, of course, but we still somehow managed to save the spirit who he had warped and trapped within the first place to do his bidding. And the spirit, in turn, has joined up with Glory to try to find redemption together. As you can see, the place is falling apart. Whatever spiritual anchor, magical anchor, that the spirit served is now gone and the first place is slowly starting to break apart. We can't get through here. Okay, let's try to go through this way. This does not look too good, y'all. Hopefully with the spirit in tow, we can help whoever's still here, whoever's trapped in here. I do know that there were some people back here. Hopefully we can get to them in time. Okay, here we go. Is there any possible way to clear this? Okay, we cleared the rubble. What's going on in here? Oh, good, all the initiates. Hey, guys. Come on, we gotta get out of here. As you kick the door open and stumble forward into the room, you find yourself surrounded by a sea of teenage faces. Initiates and acolytes huddled together and trembling within the spirit's influence with the spirit's influence cleared from their minds. Their swagger is gone. They look frightened and lost, like kids who've had their security blankets torn away. Glory, is is that you? The acolyte is in her his early twenties, close to Glory's age. His eyes are wide with astonishment. You don't know me, but but I was a new in initiate back when you lived here, when you were she cuts in, but her voice is gentle. Yes, it's me. Come on, we're taking you to safety, someplace far away from here. This growing teenager in a ratty coat stares at Glory's chrome, his mouth hanging, hanging slack. His voice cracks when he speaks. What happened to you? Your arms. Something that you'll never need to worry about. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Couldn't have put better myself. Come on, people. We're taking you to someplace safe. Aww. We did it. Glory did it. You thread your way through the trees of the forest, tracing your way back to the thickest, the thicket where you and Glory hide the band. Hid the band. The inferno consumed the first place is spreading. And the conflagration Cast the forces, the forest around you in a sinister orange light. The heat at your back is intense, unbearable. Far ahead, Glory blazes a trail for you to follow, treading the foliage in her path. The liberated initiates teeter on the edge of panic as they struggle to keep up pace behind you. The fire is moving fast, but you're faster. As Glory helps the last of the kids into the van, you put the vehicle in gear and punch the accelerator. The burning ruin that was the first place recedes into the distance, glowing speck in the rearview mirror. The peace and safety of the keys lie ahead. Nice. And actually, there's um the orc who runs a bunch of charities. We could probably talk to him and he could at least set the kids up somewhere. I would hope. He could probably set them up and at least help them a little bit. So... We do have a bit of a plan. We could help out somebody. You know? There we go. Alright, we got two karma points for that. That's not too terrible. Let's go talk to Glory and see how she feels about the whole event. It was pretty nuts. But I'm sure Glory enjoyed that trip. At least I hope Glory enjoyed that trip. I hope she feels better about everything that's happened as well. Okay. Let's keep moving. Well, there she is. Let's go talk to her. Glory stands, an introspective look on her face. At the sound of your approach, she turns to face you. She nods at you. Thank you for your help at the first place. I couldn't have done it without you. Speaking of which, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. After the things that we saw in there, I'm not surprised. Go ahead, South. I'm listening. Arrow got away. Just like he said he would. She frowns, yes. And he's already putting distance between himself 
in the forest. How do you want to go about tracking him? Finding Hero is going to be a full-time job. I can't tra um, track him down while we still have a great dragon hanging over our heads. After we've dealt with Balkler and the Firewing, I'll devote myself wholeheartedly to finding that bastard and finishing this. But for now, we need to keep our eyes on the road ahead. Um, what did you wind up doing with the cultists that we rescued? Did you send them to Samuel? Yeah, Sam. No, he has enough to worry about keeping the people of the Keys safe. Those kids that we rescued, they've been damaged by Harris' philosophies. They can get better, but it's going to take time. Trying to integrate them into our society too quickly would be dangerous. So where'd they go? I took them to the talismonger Algern Algernon. He said that he knew a place where they could get help. It won't be easy for them or quick, but they'll get better in time. Look distraught when Marta died. How are you holding up about that? Her expression clouds. As well as can be expected, my feelings on this are complicated. You loved her. That much is pretty clear. I don't want to push you on this if you don't want to talk about it. No, it's okay. I should talk about this. Running from it won't help anything. Ah, Glory has advanced her character. Or her character's advanced. She looks away. A part of me still loved her, I think. But the rest hated her for what she represented. Am I ultimately sorry that she's dead? Yes. Killing her brought me no joy. But on the other hand, I'm not sure what the alternative would be. If the circumstances were different, you could have found some common ground? Letting her live might have been a good place to start? Nah, I don't know about that. Marta was a new definition of the term damaged goods. I can't even imagine the amount of psychological trauma she'd be carrying if she were alive today. It'd take her years to recover. In that time, she'd still be dangerous, true. All in all, it's probably better that things turned out the way they did. That's all I keep telling myself anyway. That answers all my questions. Thanks for the time to talk. Anytime, Stealth, and thanks again. I mean that. Okay, let's check our mission computer. I, I doubt we got anything crazy. Let's just take a look. Did we get any new messages? No, no new messages. Um, the old pending jobs. We, we do have the Aztec Technology Sabotage run. So we should probably work on that after we gear up, open jobs directory. Actually, let's check the Shadowland BBS relevant keywords. The Shatterness Schoolhouse. Um, really attention grabbing headline, right? That's how the local news has been spinning it. Truth is, the schoolhouse was abandoned years ago and was being used as a humanist recruitment and training complex. You're kidding me? Okay, so this is about humanists. I was wondering if we could find anything on... Nah, we weren't able to find anything. I'd assume that they put something up about what happened out in the forest, but then again, I'm not surprised. Actually, do we have any payday to sell while we're at it? Um, Antiques delivery schedule. Um, Humana safe house list. And what else do we have? Um, okay. Supposed to research data as well. Hopefully we'll get something out of that after our next mission. We're not really in need of money, but we can at least see what's going on. Alright. So, what we're going to do is do a... Not not a pre-run, I guess it is technically a pre-run. For our big ass technology run. What we're going to pick up should um, confuse the Knight Errant's response. Or at least that that's why I was led to believe. We get in... We access their comms, or find a way to access their comms, and then we'll take care of that. Okay, let's board the train. Okay, assemble the team and travel to OTK International Offices and to tap Night Air Communications. Yep, let's do it. Who are we taking? We really need Blitz, 100%. Do we take... We could take Dietrich and Iger. I mean, Glory now has her new ability. Well, she should have her new spell. Hmm. I'm actually kind of uh, weirded out that it's not listed. We take... How about we take Dietrich and Glory? There we go. That'll be alright. 
and let's confirm our travel. We're gonna need blitz to hack into some stuff, and I kinda wanna test out Glory's new ability. I hope she still actually has access to it. Earwig. OTK International is a small time software developer, and it shows the company's main office is crammed up against the back wall of a massive shared office park. Surrounded by competing businesses and larger corporations, a steady trickle of dead eyed wage slaves flows in and out of the complex. The offices, the office parks. Main entrance is overflowing with hired security, but you. Your forge keycard gets you past them easily enough. A few minutes later, you're walking the winding corridors towards OTK International. You're only a few smash computers away from putting Amzel's plan into motion. I love Paul Amzel. He is probably the best fixer ever. Um, okay, let's go. We're pretty stacked up from the last mission, to be honest. I didn't need to buy any of that stuff, but I don't actually regret it. Unspent karma. Can we spend four karma on anything? I mean, what? That's going to be six. Uh, hmm. We could actually upgrade our dodge at some point. Uh, we need S-Class drones at some point, so we're going to need seven, fourteen for that. We need to save up our karma. Um, accuracy of drones as well. That's huge. Okay, we're pretty good. Passing through the main doors of OTK International, you find yourself in a stretch of industrial hallway. Apparently, the company is too small to warrant such amenities as a lobby or greeting area. That's kind of sad. The rest of your team is waiting for you at OTK's side entrance, outside the office park, and beyond the reach of building security. Letting them in should be as easy as opening a service door. Okay. Let's go. Oh, as you pass the open door, you see a middle-aged wage slave working at a console. His back is facing the doorway and he doesn't seem to have noticed you. Let's approach him. You step into the room and make your way toward the wage slave as you approach him. He sits bolt upright and begins to turn towards you. Uh, we're not gonna launch ourselves out and wait for him to turn around. The Wade Slave turns and blinks at you. Who, who are you? How the hell did you get here? Oh, I love our charisma. Turn and run, launch yourself at him. The look of confusion on his face disappears, replaced by suspicion. His hand edges towards a large red button. Nah, no, sorry to have stalled you. My name's Jonathan. I'm the new contractor. Just wanted to stop by and say hello. Oh, well, hello. Then I'm Klaus. He glances at his PDA. Good God, I could have clocked out over an hour ago. Well, pleasure to meet you, Jonathan. And good night. Good night, Klaus. Klaus. And we got a karma for not killing him. Cool. Or maybe we also could have gotten some karma for killing him. I'm not entirely sure. Let's open this up. Is there anything important here? Desk, what's the desk say? Um, the desk before you is well kept, paper, search the drawers. Uh, the contents of the drawers make it clear that this desk belongs to a supervisor of some sort, Mr. Stephen Williams, according to his nameplate. There's a locked drawer, let's investigate it. Intelligence 3, the drawer appears to be secured by some sort of electronic lock. The desk itself, however, looks relatively flimsy. You might be able to force the drawer open. Ah, uh, let's examine the lock further. There's no visible keyhole, no input pad, and no card reader. The lock must be controlled through the computer terminal. Okay. Well, we're gonna need Blitz to actually do any heavy computer stuff, so let's go around and try to get those guys. See, that would have been bad if we tried to tackle that with the rest of the team, because immediately four people showed up with the equipment of Shadowrunners, probably would have had that guy pressing the panic button immediately. Lead the way, lead the way, okay. Like I said, lead the way in. I'm having a terrible time apparently reading well today. Um, okay, oh, what was that? Standing in the hallway is a janitor, a tired looking woman in her mid-30s. 
She's staring at you, her eyes wide with surprise. You can't help but notice the alarm panel set into the wall just behind her. With a flick of her wrist, she could make your job infinitely more complicated. Oh, excuse me, you startled me there. A look of confusion crosses the janitor's face as her eyes flit from you to your teammates to the door that you just let them through. You are suddenly aware of how very out of place you look in this building, and the furrow in the janitor's brow tells you that she's made the same observation. Hmm. Uh, who are you exactly, and how'd you get into this building? I'm an old friend of the development lead. We shared a dorm together in the University of Berlin. Uh-huh, she does not sound convinced. You're the best of friends. Look, how much will it cost me to get you to step away from that alarm? Uh, yeah, um, look. If you wouldn't mind hanging out right there, I think the security might like to have a word with you. Trip the alarm and you're a dead woman. The janitor freezes in her tracks, her eyes wide with panic. She raises her arms at her sides. Look, just don't hurt me, okay? I have kids at home. You can go wherever you want. She looks like a deer caught in the headlights of an oncoming truck. The glare of the room's halogen lighting. You can see that her eyes are brimming with tears. Please, thank you. You've been very cooperative. I'm not getting paid to kill you, so unless you do something stupid, you'll be just fine. Just shut up and sit in the corner, okay? I'm not going to hurt anyone if I could help it. Just move along and forget you saw me. I promise everything will be alright. She nods, tears streaming down her cheeks. From her body language alone, you can tell that she's petrified. You've seen this look before. She's not going to cause you any more trouble. Ah, oh, jeez, man. Okay, well, Stealth, Stealth did what he had to do. That's Stealth in a nutshell. If only we had security skills. What's over here? Inspect this. Um, a well-used calendar is hung on the wall covered with notes. June 29th has been circled. I wonder if we could solve this problem by ourselves. A board arranged on the grid. Okay, let's just get Blitz to open this. Um, turn on the terminal. Terminal boots up. Um, attempt to log in. Have your decker crack the password. Um, it's S. Williams. Unlock the drawer. With a sharp clicking sound, the magic lock releases and the drawer pops open. Amongst the various other items in the locked drawer, you find the supervisor's ID badge. What's over here? Ah, uh, the bookshelf neatly organized. Okay. Yeah, we're not trying to hurt anybody. Oh, I'm glad it's stealth took care of that so let's hurry up and get through this ah crap okay let's try to we've got the badge um hovering silently the drones sweep their optical sensors over your stolen id badge a few seconds later a synthesized voice chirps out um of the nearest drone speaker grill level two authorization detected proceed okay lovely See, we didn't have to shoot anybody, we didn't have to blow anything up. We took care of everything pretty easily. Ah, uh, crap. Thank goodness we have security abilities. Or, we have the security etiquette. Halt! This is a restricted area. The guard raises his weapon, his voice is brimming with excitement. Show me your ID now. I don't have a company ID. I was sent here by Night Errant Dispatch to check on the status of this patch. Dispatch? The guard sounds both confused and frightened. Look. It's my first day, but the captain didn't say anything about it. I didn't... I don't question dispatch, son. They say jump, I jump. But I... Look, you want to step out of my way? I need to jack into the console behind you and verify that the patch is ready to, for release. After a long pause, he stammers that response. Yeah, okay. You go ahead and do that. You need... Do what you need to do. But don't leave the room, you hear? I want to keep an eye on you. Don't worry, I won't. Wait, hold on. Is there anything else that we need to do? Executive door. Um, this door. It's Jack in here. Look, the Decker to Jack in. Of course, it's gotta be Blitz. 
Okay. So with Blitz, we should be able to hack in and it shouldn't be too difficult of a job, to be honest. We just gotta hack this and then we could be out. I do feel like if you had the right etiquettes and the right amount of charisma, you could do this by yourself. You don't need to be a decker. Um, let's go this way. Crap. Okay, it's not the worst thing ever. Um, we've got blaster. Let's see if we can take one of these things out. Uh, no. We can't take it out with one hit. They're actually pretty tough. This may cause problems, especially if Blitz gets caught. Okay, we're going to need an attacker program. Especially if Blitz winds up getting too hot in the matrix. So we got Blaster up and running. One hit here. Nice. One hit here. Not bad. One hit on this thing. Another hit. Lovely. Okay, this is done. So we should be able to slowly work this thing down as well. Nice. One more? Okay, uh, a nice tar pit would actually be fantastic. And we should be able to take out both of them? There we go. Good. There's another one? There's two more. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, we actually might have to heal up here. And actually, let's do some suppression. We're going to heal as well. And hopefully Tar Pit could at least take out one of these guys. Oh, we can't use Tar Pit yet. Nice. So we're in a pretty tricky situation right now. It'll be five turns before we can use Suppression again. So we're going to need to take these things out as quickly as possible. Throw that down, and we're going to switch to our attacker to throw down his own area of effect. That's not major, but hey, it's something. So he could hit that. Good. That'll go down next turn. And this will go down next turn as well. So our attacker could finish this thing off as we progress. Or Blitz could just attack. Go ahead and attack Blitz. Fine. Okay, do we have... That's where we need to be. Let's do one attack, and we will summon an Exploder. I don't care. The Exploder's gonna blow up on somebody. But at least we found what we're looking for. We're not gonna grab any pay data. We just need to get out. 57, 54. This one's already been attacked. We'll go with 54. And miss. Horrifically. Let's move here. And we'll attack it there okay not terrible but a lot of them are going to be attacking the exploder honestly the exploder should just blow up right now to be honest if he blows up will he take both of them with him i don't know uh almost and we could just throw one of these down and they're done it's gonna be down next turn now let's move 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 Ah, oh, really? Okay, let's hit this up. In three turns, we will have our suppressor back, which isn't terrible. I don't think we're going to need it. We're just going to jack Blitz out as hard as possible. And not worry about the AP damage. I feel bad for Blitz. I feel bad for, like, any decker whose entire history... Of decking has just been them quickly unplugging themselves from whatever matrix node as quickly as possible because that takes a toll on you after a while like physically it does it's not good for your health ladies and gentlemen Whoop. okay so he's trapped he's hurt he's going to be done next turn and all we gotta do is take care of this thing. whoa it's alive okay color me surprised um, an, uh, an erosion might be able to take care of him. 
I wish he actually had an assassin program. Or what's what's the ability assassinate? Or at least I think that's what it is. Let's hack the node. Good. And now all we gotta do is get out. Good job, let's. Yup. Jack out. And we're out. That's all. Uh, guys? Just leave Blitz. <laughs> With his cyber deck still slung around his shoulders. It's alright, guys. I'm fine. I'm good. And we're done. We're not getting any pay data. We came to do what we needed to do and we took care of it. Nobody got hurt. Although one person did get threatened to possibly within an inch of their lives. The Yvonne ride home is smooth and uneventful. The high ups at OTK International must be scrambling to try and recover their losses. It's only a matter of time before they make the call and Mzell's compromised data is uploaded to Knight Errant's comlinks. You're going to be rolling into as a technology with one hell of an advantage. Not bad for a night's work. I have to agree with that. Not bad at all. So, tune in next time when we take on the as a technology run. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, like, I, I've just been having a lot of fun with Stealth. He's a character that I usually would not play. Like, in all honesty, a character I would really not like. But he's a lot of fun and he's really interesting. So we can talk to Amzel... We'll talk to Amzel at the beginning of the next episode to work out everything. And then we'll take on, I think, one of our last missions before we go talk to Alice. I mean, we already have enough money for the Alice fund, but I'm trying to get as much karma as we possibly can before we go in against the dragon. That, that's what I'm trying to do. I hope you guys respect that and you can agree with that, because I'm not really looking to fight a dragon. We still need four karma so we can get those S-Class drones. Hopefully we can find something decent. Thank you guys for watching, I'm JB Illusion. Please tune in next time for the continuing adventures of Stealth, the Elden Rigor in Shadowrun Dragonfall, and have a nice day. Peace!